Is he a monkey? Is he a truck? Who really cares? Let's unbox Studio Series Optimus Primal from Rise of the Beasts. I do apologize if you can see a little left and right. Um, this box is huge, and I know the figure inside is not that big. But this is the box. Um, the artwork on the box is actually really cool. I love the Primal. I love the green eyes. That's really cool. Um, and then they got Primal on the back. They got the, that beast mode that looks really good. The robot mode looks really good. The axe that's supposed to go with um, Studio Series Rise of the Beast Prime, which is funny. And then the combo comes with the chain, which during the uh, live stream they did when they released, revealed him, is it was concept art or something like that. But this is totally for Battle Trap to have this whip. And then it also comes with the... Uh, Trans warp key from original Beast Wars. But you know, that's the box. The other side's got Primal on the side of it. Again, I'm sorry, this box is huge and my work station is small. But uh, yeah, let's get, uh, let's get it open. Very excited about this because I love Beast Wars. I've said it a thousand times how much I love Beast Wars. And I'm just excited. It's been sitting in the corner for so long. Yeah, there he is. Cool. Primal. And then I really want to get some backdrop out. So this is what you get when you open the box. You have the backdrop, which is when they first meet the Maximals. I don't remember where, but that's when they first meet the Maximals. The instructions, of course, and the little pamphlet, which is cool. But let's get the backdrop out of here. And look at Primal. So first impressions. That face sculpt is incredible looking. Like the gorilla face sculpt is incredible looking. It's got the... Uh, Axes and stuff, his other axes. That's really cool, though. I knew going in he was going to be smaller than the rest of them. Like, smaller. I watched a couple of people being like, oh, he's small. I'm like, yeah. Because, unfortunately, you're paying for, like, right now you're just paying for, like, articulation and, like, parts count and stuff like that, which, like, kind of sucks, but... Oh yeah, no, that's primal. Did they do the nice? Oh, he's got individual little. He's got two fingers right there, which is really cool. No, oh, that's really cool. He's got like battle damage on the back of that right there, so that's probably for robot mode. Um, his head's kind of hollow, which sucks, but whatever. But yeah, no, that's um. Can do. I want to see if we can do the gorilla thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can do the gorilla thing. Let's see, yeah, uh, pose him right. Nice. So you kind of can do the gorilla thing, which is really cool. But let's get the rest of everything out of here. Back over here. Like I said, he comes with that. Uh, this is the battle axe that goes to um, Prime. They even said in the uh, live stream that they had extra, like, parts on the mold so they were able to, like, give us that, so that's really cool. Is the Sonic Blades. So the rest he comes with. Get him centered there. He looks so good, though. Like, I love, like, I'm just, like, impressed. Like, I love the, like, sculpting on his chest and everything. Like, he's, he's got battle damage right there, which is really cool. That's awesome. I've, I've only seen this figure in person one time, and it was at TFCon when a kid had him, and I looked at him real quick. I'm like, oh, that's really cool, actually. But he also comes with his Sonic Blades, which is really cool. And then in that little white package came the little uh, things for his... Because uh, I think originally they were supposed to like combine in the movie, but they never did it. Do something like that. But you yeah, know, these come, they're all super flexible. I don't have that battle trap to give this to. I kind of want to get that battle trap, but I haven't decided if I actually want to or not. Uh, I've never seen him in stores. 
or anything. But um, most importantly, he does come with the transfer key, which that's really cool. The orange is really nice. Does this split? I think it splits. Let's see. No, I'm not gonna do it. Um, but yeah, that's really cool. I saw somebody online talk about how they should have done half with Primal and half with Scourge. So you had to buy both of them and get the full key. But I'm glad they didn't do that because I really don't want the Scourge to get the full key. But I like that I have a representation of like the Transwarp key. So that's really cool. That's all the accessories for him. But let's get into him. Like, yeah, like I love all the, like, the grooves and stuff like that. It's Gorilla Mode. That's really cool. It's really like, he's dense too. He's like dense. Very dense. I wonder if the instructions have. I know he's do he can do a lot of different things. But I have no idea. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, it's only mainly for robot mode. That's fine. Am I right? Oh, he's able to do... Okay, he can hold everything just fine in robot or that's just the same thing i just wanted to double check but yeah no that's really like yeah he can probably do the gorilla thing which i said earlier to get i can break him a little bit but that's okay but no all the fingers are articulated i mean they're not articulated it's like two and two that's really nice but that's about it for this let's get him uh transformed and take a look at that uh that robot mode that he's gonna be in but like i said the face sculpt's really nice really good really good like i said let's get him in that uh robot mode and take a look at that Here's Primal all maximized, and holy crap, this thing is really good, actually. Uh, the transformation was fun, um, but there's a lot of, like, pull out and then twist and then come compress, which is weird to me. It's fine. Um, he does got a little bigger backpack, but I think that's actually accurate to the movie itself. Um, his head sculpt looks just incredible like that head sculpt looks just so good the head sculpt looks incredible um got the insignia right there it's silver on silver which you can't really tell but that's okay but the head sculpt is so impressive it's so good looking um he has got the two fingers and articulated so two and two so like that so like two and then two Oh, he's super, like, posable. I love that they were able to give him, like, the, uh, the shoulder pile, uh, shoulder pads. That's really good. Like, there's, like, so much mechanical detail, like, into the thing. And his thigh, it's really good. Even back here, he's got pistons and stuff. It's all just really detailed. And something I'm expecting for a studio series. Um, because I did the recently unboxed, uh, Mirage. And I didn't like that at all. And I know a lot of people don't like that figure because he's just not fun. But he got all the pistons and stuff like that. He's got even like battle damage like right in his chest right there. But let's get to his accessories real quick. Like I said, he comes with the axe. He can hold the axe just fine. I'm not going to put it with him. But mainly, the only things I really care about, I don't really care about these, the little whatevers those mean nothing to me i'm sorry but they mean nothing to me um the only things i care about are his sonic blades and the transport key which i believe he can hold let's see uh yeah but i believe he can hold it yep <laughs> so he can't hold it fighting away all those uh 
Terracons and everything. So he is able to hold it like you saw. But I love physical representations of like Transformers like gear kind of stuff. Um, it's the reason I bought that Alpha Trion Orion Packs uh, two pack because it came with a physical representation of Vector Sigma. That's why I bought the Arc because it came with Teletran 1 and um, the Sky Spy. This stuff right here is stuff I live for. I love like this. Like that's the Transwarp key. That's really cool. I, it's just it's just one of those things I'm like really into. I'm like that's really cool. Um, like like I said, the Teletran one that came with the Arc. I have on the shelf back there in the computer mode because it's just really cool. Anyway, um, get that. But mainly like the Sonic Blades. These are super Beast Wars accurate, and these are super super cool. Oh, already I put it in. I'm like, yeah, that's 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 it. That's it. Oh yeah. Like you can't tell me like that's not like they nailed this Optimus Primal. Like they nailed it. It looks so good. I recommend this. I already recommend this figure quite a bit. But he is, he's super poseable. He does the job. He is a little bit like, he is smaller, but like there's a lot to him. Like he's able to do like a kick and everything else. You are paying like leader price point, but like he's like kind of worth it, I think. Again, I'm also blinded because I love Beast Wars. So you can do with that. Um, let's do some comparisons real quick because I think that'll be fun. And I got some old stuff and some new stuff and I think that'd be cool. Let's do comparisons. So for comparisons, got a, I got a mixed bag of stuff over here. This is the only other Studio Series Maximal I have. That's Cheetor. And I think, yeah, that looks really good together, actually. <laughs> that looks really good together. I really need to get the other ones. I need to get a Ronox and Eraser. But I mainly got Cheetor and Primal because they're my two favorite characters from Beast Wars, aside from Rat Trap, and they didn't do Rat Trap. But that, that looks really, that's really cool, actually. <laughs> that looks really good. They look really good together. Um, for the sake of Primal, this is Trans Metal Optimus Primal from Beast Wars, original one. So it looks really good. So we got new Primal and then old Primal. I got this at uh, TFCon as a Sunday pickup for very cheap and complete, and he's gorgeous looking like that's a great shot of just primals together and then for just sake of i just want to talk about this again and for the sake of i just want to talk about this again uh pink hot rod there is a pink hot rod i will never not stop talking about pink hot rod everybody needs pink hot rod <laughs> what's my top 10 uh pink hot rod um but yeah, it's comparisons. So let's go with some final thoughts on uh, Primal here, shall we? So for final thoughts for Studio Series Primal, I love it, actually. <laughs> um, again, I am very skewed because Beast Wars is my generation. I grew up with Beast Wars, so I'm very keen to Beast Wars. I love collecting Beast Wars. I love old Beast Wars. I know a lot about Beast Wars. Um, this thing is phenomenal. The accessories are really good. I'm glad I got an axe for Primal. Um, you got the little other things for Battle Trap, which is cool. You got the Transwarp key. Again, that's a big one for me because I like that sort of thing. Um, the transformation was a lot of fun. Gorilla Mode, I'm going to go back to and just like play with a little bit because I kind of rushed through it. But no, that's... That's a really good Primal. Like, I'm very like very impressed with it the only downside with this is you are paying like leader price for essentially a voyager figure you get a lot of accessories and the transformations like involved and there's a lot of parts in there you gotta look at it like that i look at it like that but like i'm super impressed with this again i love these tours this is great like this is awesome 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 but let me know what you think. Um, I know a lot of people are not super into how small he is, but I like it. I like the black. I like everything about it. But let me know what you think. But yeah, this makes me want to get Rhinox and Eraser.
and then have all four of them. I think that'd be a really cool display. But yeah, no, thanks for watching this unboxing of a Studio Series Optimus Primal. It's been fun. Let me know what you think. Um, until next time, guys, uh, enjoy your day. Have fun. And I'll see you in the next video.